The number of vehicles has more than doubled during the last decade. From about 30,000 vehicles in 2006, today there are over 80,000 vehicles in the country. In the past, we could hardly see any vehicle. There were only jeeps. But nowadays, there are so many that it's hard to remember. It has become difficult to cross roads. When I first joined, there weren't many vehicles. At times, the parking space used to remain empty. Today, cars come one after another and sometimes people even argue over the parking space. The number of vehicles has increased significantly. The State of the Environment Report 2016 says there has been an increasing trend in the level of PM10 concentration in Thimpo since 2004. PM10 are the suspended dust particles in the air which has diameter less than 10 microns. The, over the years we've been observing that the level of uh, pollution in terms of the total dust in the air, that's uh, what we measure, uh, PM10, has been increasing but it's still just now with, within the national limits. So NEC has set the vehicle emission standards. First we set it appropriate for the conditions at that time and it was revised about 10 years ago and we're going to be revising and making it more stringent again. So far, although no studies have been done to assess the impact of air pollution in Bhutan, health officials say high level of air pollution adversely affects people's health. Somebody already has a, some sort of respiratory disorders like be it bronchial asthma, be it uh, you know, chronic uh, obstructive pulmonary disorders. This can be aggravated. Or if, even if somebody doesn't have it, high level of air pollution can actually induce or cause acute sort of you know, a respiratory disease. And also, you know, uh, the vehicles, especially the vehicles, they have, uh, you know, they emit actually a lot of greenhouse gases, but one of them is the hydrocarbons. And certain hydrocarbons actually have been reported that, you know, it can cause some sort of cancers. At present, on an average, 28 new cars hit the road every day. Compiled for Surjaman Thapa, Sundia Magelsen, BBS News.